Hey there, have you been feeling stressed lately? Whew, I know I have. Watching the effects of the pandemic layered over the fight for social rights, and then the economic uncertainty that so many of us are facing, it's a wonder we're functioning at all. We might feel quite powerless under the enormity of all of this and have the feeling that we're being dragged through all of this by the hair. The feelings of stress tend to build up. And I know through my research, I've seen that prolonged stress can lead to disease. So I went in search of things that I can do right here today to relieve that stress. Hi there, my name is Anna. And in this video, I'm going to share some actionable steps that you can take today to relieve stress. If you like the video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to click subscribe. The other day I was at the grocery store and I was at the register. I had my mask on, keys in hand, and I was looking all over for my glasses so I can get my credit card. I knew that the clerk was saying something to me and I kept saying what as I was fumbling and fumbling and fumbling. And finally, I stopped long enough to hear her say, your glasses are on your face. I was so upset at that point that I nearly broke down in tears. I'm just learning more and more that panic and stress is my worst enemy. I don't make great choices when I'm in a state of panic. So it's really key for me to continue to be calm and centered moving through my day. Now I've had my share of meltdowns. I'm a business owner, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister. And I know that when my stress builds up, I'm no help to anyone. And I also know that stored anger and anxiety leads to disease, and I really don't want that. So a few weeks ago, I decided that I was going to find solutions that worked for me, solutions that I could use either in the moment or solutions that I could go away to another room, employ, and come out feeling better. And let me just admit, sometimes you need the meltdown. Sometimes you need the release of energy. So I'm just addressing those times when the meltdown is not going to be helpful or you are feeling the stress being stored within. Taking 10 minutes to myself is sometimes all that's needed to turn my mood around. So if there's craziness around you and there's people around you, an easy thing to do is just go to the bathroom. Those two, three, five minutes away and alone might be enough to kind of bring you down to center. If you don't have time or there isn't a bathroom close, just walking away from the situation is equally helpful. There is something about sitting quiet for a bit that helps me to reorganize my thoughts. And organizing my thoughts is the key to calming myself down. Those 10 minutes can be done in the morning before the world has woken up. I prefer that because my cell phone isn't pinging, my emails aren't coming in, but if you prefer the evening, do those 10 minutes in the evening. It helps me to set up the day in a certain way, but it has other benefits too. Being comfortable and really familiar with this quiet time helps me to recall it when things get a little stressful during the day. It helps me soothe myself and calm myself down. Literally changing your environment can change your mood. Another technique is to have a ritual. So my favorite ritual of all time is the ritual of yerba mate. So some of you might not know this, but I do own a company called Sol Mate Yerba, and we actually have yerba blends and mates and these metal straws, but you don't have to get them from me. There's lots of companies in the States that have yerba mate. I just think it's this amazing ritual, and I think once you learn it, you'll love it too. A ritual can take on any form, but it's basically a repeated act with a beginning, middle, and end. 
It is usually done in a set place with set steps. Then repeating the steps can be in itself the ritual or the set steps can lead up to the ritual. Whatever it is, having a ritual can be completely comforting and maybe transport you to a more peaceful place. A ritual can be as simple as lighting a candle and sitting in a favorite chair to read a book or something more complex like creating a braided bread on a Friday afternoon. My favorite is making yerba mate. When things get particularly harried, I can stop what I'm doing and make yerba. I will turn on the stove and heat water while I put yerba tea in my mate cup. I'll put in the perfect amount of dried stevia in the middle. Then I'll add in a bit of room temperature water and I'll pour the hot water in my thermos and then pour a small stream of water from that into my yerba cup. And when the yerba has puffed up a bit, I will stick in my bombilla. Then I'll sip and pour and sip and pour. I get so much pleasure, not only from doing these simple tasks in a certain sequence, but also have a physical reaction to the yerba tea itself. Working out. Working out is really helpful when you're wanting to change up your mood. For me, going for an intense workout helps me to unplug from the stress that's dragging me down and really helps me shift my mindset. But here's the catch. It needs to be intense. And the best way I know how to get an intense workout is with interval training. So there are a million ways to work with intervals, but the basic idea is that you work for a bit at your peak and then you go down to a kind of baseline. You can do this outside by running sprints, doing jumps, or doing an intense exercise like burpees. I'm an indoor kind of gal though, <laughs> and so I do intervals with a spinning bike or small trampoline. Here's what I'll do. I'll go for as little as 30 to 45 seconds at the highest intensity I can muster and then back off. And if that sounds like a short time period, oh, just try it. It's harder than you think. I go full out for 30 to 40 seconds, no more than that. When I'm ready, I'll go again. And I'll do this at least five times. These intervals get the heart going and truly get my mind to do a turnaround. I will always get this mental release after. For me, it seems to work on many levels. First of all, having to keep time and be on top of that refocuses my mind and it keeps me in the moment something I'm not that good at to begin with. Then focusing on the physical exertion itself makes me kind of give myself a pep talk. And finally, it actually gets endorphins running around my body and a detox starting. I'm hoping that some of these ideas will work for you and have kind of given you some light bulb moments. If you have things that you found have really helped you, please list them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. If you like this video, do me a favor, click the thumbs up and click to subscribe. Until next time. Ciao.